This is gonna be really difficult for me to talk about. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kaya Boy. Welcome back to my channel. Nice to see you all again. Hi. So I feel like I had to make this video because of what's been happening with a certain YouTuber. And I've actually gotten some DMs privately, of course, that's why they're DMs, about this particular thing. And it's relevant to me particularly because I've worked with this YouTuber before on a couple different occasions and I was cool with this YouTuber and we were friends. But up until this point, I feel like things have gotten really bad. And I'm not making this video for clout or because it's trending or, you know, just to have my little two cents in there, but it's because this stuff is actually really serious to me. Like when it comes to these things that I'm gonna talk about today in my video. So I got the whole video about Wan Nation in my videos and I got the idea of making the video from Chili Got Soul, which I'm glad I didn't make that video because I wanted to bring awareness to that situation, not because, you know, subs and all that stuff, because like, honestly, so who cares about that when people's lives are affected by situations like this. So I'm gonna get into it. So you guys remember this YouTuber that I made a video with before on this particular YouTuber channel and my channel. This YouTuber has some rape allegations that were made against him and it's a real bad situation. It's not because I sympathize for him in the slightest, but because I'm always taking the victim side. Like I don't take stuff like this lightly. It's absolutely horrible and quite disgusting what I've read that's transpired. And just people people and this YouTuber's comments like pretty much saying how they forgive him but it's not up to you to forgive anyone. This is clearly up to the victim but people don't seem to understand that they're not the ones who hold the forgiveness in their hands. I'm starting to not like YouTube as much because it's just like who gave people to internet? Like why do some people have internet? It's really disgusting to, to see the comments where it's just like victim blaming or sympathizing with the perpetrators in certain situations like this. Now I can't mention the YouTuber's name because of defamation. And I'm in Korea, so it's like, you know, it's real serious when it comes down to it. So I get, well, I can't really say certain things and I can't say too much or give too much details, but I'm sure you guys can put two and two together, you know. I recently had to unfollow and pretty much distance myself from this person because it's just like, no. From what I've read and from the research that I did, regardless of what little influences this person, YouTuber, had behind why he did what he did, it doesn't make it okay. It just doesn't. And being a woman is already freaking difficult because it's like having to come forward and talk about stuff like this publicly is kind of embarrassing. It is because it's like you, you know, have to be like somebody did something to me and it, it violated me. It's hurtful and embarrassing because people, sometimes people don't believe you. And in these cases, yeah, it's, as you can see from the comments from this person's supporters, the YouTuber supporters, it's just like baffling how they tend to excuse what happened and make it seem like, you know, it's the victim's fault. And I hate when people use this excuse like, well, why would you invite someone over to your house maybe because I think that person wasn't expecting them to be hurt or raped or molested in any way like are y'all dumb some people are really stupid who acts as to be raped or to be molested like or to be preyed on people really don't put this stuff together because they think in their mind if you invite someone to your home or if you go to someone else's home then you're pretty much asking for trouble and that's not the case why would you ask like why this person invited you know said person to their home when the question needs to be why would said person do something like this why would you take advantage of someone's kindness, niceness, and use that against them as a weapon to do what you wanted to do. Being drunk is not an excuse to hurt someone or to do something terrible to someone, you know? Because if that was the case, uh, a lot of people would be getting away with a lot of stuff, but it's just not an excuse. The situation is relevant to me in particular because I don't talk about like serious, serious stuff, but I do talk about like pretty serious topics on my channel and I don't make everything about Korean guys or dating in Korea or just like, oh, they got everything Korea. Yes, I'm in Korea and I like to talk about certain experiences, but I don't really get into like super deep stuff. And that's because I'm trying to keep my channel a little lighthearted and stuff like that. But when it comes to situations like this, I can't be quiet. With me living in Korea, I know that, you know, it's a safe country and things like that, but people do prey on you, especially when you're like new or even if you're not new, people will prey on you just because of the fact that you're a foreigner alone. They don't think that you understand your rights or that you know how to seek help in situations like this. I have been attacked in Korea. I've been blessed here had a rape situation happen and I have never actually told people about this. I've never went to anybody or went to the police about it because I felt like I
like I didn't have any power in these situations when it came to foreign girl versus like a Korean man. And to, for me to even say this in a video is just really serious for me because I haven't even told my family about like this particular stuff. So it goes real deep for me and it makes me upset when people online feel the need to blame victims. If you have never been in these particular situations, then shut up. It's as simple as that. Don't speak on another person's experiences because you know, you don't understand it. You've, you don't understand them. And then I hate when people who are like, I mean, I was a victim of rape and molestation and even this sound fishy. What? Girl, what? Please, please keep that stupid energy to yourself. Please, please keep them dumb thoughts inside your own head. Don't speak for other victims. Don't speak for anybody else. I get that you've had like your own experiences, but that's, that's just it. They're your own experiences. So don't speak on anybody else's. Shut up and keep that energy for the freaking rapists and the molesters. Keep that energy, okay? So my thoughts on this, this whole situation is that it took her over a year to gain traction. And the fact that people are like just now listening to her is really freaking sad. Now, don't get me wrong. It was decent of him to make a video saying he apologizes and that he's sorry and stuff like that. Like that's nice, that's, that's cool or whatever, but still don't take away from what happened. It doesn't change any of that. And his YouTubers might accept his apology. Okay, that's good and all, but what about the victim? I feel like when it comes to the laws in Korea and things that transpire between Korean men and Korean women, Korean men often get let off really easy. Even if we're talking about like the ninth room or the burning sun incidents. It's absolutely crazy how these people who committed these freaking serious crimes got off with like the lightest sentences I've ever heard of. People who touch kids here or like rape people or just child molesters, they get off with such easy sentences here because the laws like have loopholes for them or it's just it's just flawed in certain ways and it's so sad you can get away with so much crap here but then get locked up over smoking a joint for like years and years that's sad because it's like i think about someone i knew here like years ago who ended up getting locked up for possession of marijuana and it's like that person got closer to a decade than what half of these people who like commit these crimes when it comes to like sex crimes and stuff like that they get like two years, three, maximum maybe five. They don't get a lot of jail time and they can leave that joint and just live their lives like nothing ever happened. I'm not sure if there's a sex offenders registry list in Korea. I'm I'm thinking that there's not. I can't be too sure, so don't quote me on that. But a lot of times what I've read is that when people do crimes and stuff like that or when they get out of jail, they can just, you know, sign up to become taxi drivers and it's not like their crimes are public record. It's not like public knowledge unless they're like featured all over the news or whatever. But most cases their faces are hidden, even in the news when they commit these crimes, their faces are hidden and their identities are practically freaking hidden because that's their right. And that's crazy, so crazy. So I am just, I'm baffled by this whole situation. And my thoughts will forever be with the victim. Like my thoughts are just the victim needs to get justice. That's, that's it. At the end of the day, I don't care about any friendship I have with anyone or what anybody has to say about it. The justice, the victim is the one that y'all should be feeling bad for. I'm done with the victim blaming. I'm so over it. I'm so sick of these freaking comments. So done with the way people react to YouTubers and how they idolize them for the stupidest shit. Like, do y'all realize that these YouTubers are not God? These YouTubers are regular effing people. They're, they're, I'm sorry, but they're just regular people. They're nobodies. I'm a nobody. Just a mug who sit in front of a camera and say, hey guys, what's up? Like, I'm here and I'm gonna be doing this crazy crap that y'all don't give a shit about, but y'all gonna watch it anyway. That's what a YouTuber is. But I just don't care for the way that people online idolize these stupid freaking YouTubers to the point where they just won't accept when people can be in the wrong or people can do really messed up crap and they get away with it because of their following or because of religion. Kind of reminds me of how like the Christian church is when it comes to like rapists and molesters and all these other people, you know, who do stuff to these innocent children, but then they don't bat an eye. Or sometimes in like black families when the relatives touch other children, but they don't say anything, but that's nice either here nor there. I'm not, not gonna get into that. It's just crazy to me. I don't understand people and I really just don't understand the world these days. Like it's really gone. As shit. So I didn't make this video to make it about me because it's not about me. It's about the victim. I really hope that all of this hate online doesn't, you know, affect her mental health. And I hope this person in particular who is the YouTuber and did all this stuff, I hope that justice gets served accordingly. And that's all I gotta say about that. Who cares about a friendship? Who cares about subs? Who cares about, you know, fans and stuff like that? I mean, not me. It is what it is. And if I get hate because I'm telling the truth, then kiss my ass. 
Oh, and that video that I made with that YouTuber, I'm gonna have to take it down. I just don't feel like it's appropriate for me to have it up because I don't want it to seem like I'm standing for something or being supportive of something that I'm not. So that video, done so. Like the concept, but video done so not everything is worth the views or sub it's just like all money ain't good money but to be honest i'm not on youtube just because of money i'm on youtube to make people happy and i'm on youtube to just talk more about my experiences to help you guys prevent some mistakes and just to tell my story it's not about like money subs and fans and all this other stuff for me that's nice but it is not the main reason for me being on here i really just want to be honest and give more people awareness and almost be like a teacher to those who are not in korea i don't know i'm here to encourage people and to inspire people and to make people happy and for those that i don't make happy a whale so yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that in this video i hope you guys like the video if you didn't i don't really care keep it moving peace so thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to like comment down below tell me your thoughts and please don't mention the youtuber by name it would just be better if you don't do that because you know defamation if you're in korea if you're not in korea i just still would like to keep it very surface level kind of mentioning is what i'm trying to say because i don't want to draw attention to this video like as if i'm insinuating this particular youtuber's name so uh yeah just uh please watch your comments be very careful in what you're going to say and no victim blaming here we don't do that you take you take that mess somewhere else. We don't do the victim blaming. It's very disgusting. Oh, and last thing I needed to say, just because she accepted his apology before doesn't mean she's not entitled to tell her story or to talk about it. Don't try to silence people from telling their freaking experiences or their stories, especially when it's like relevant to their mental health or just a crime was committed in general. Don't don't try to silence people. You real, you real dirty for that. Y'all be quiet. Leave her alone. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram is the best way to catch up with me in my life, to follow me, see what's going on, all that good stuff. Yada, yada, yada. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.